A Czech news outlet finds that China is using a Swiss company to spread disinformation about Czech Senate Speaker Milos Vistrichel. The Senate Speaker became a target for Beijing this August when he visited Taiwan. According to a popular Czech news site, China is working to discredit Vistrichel by engineering fake news reports. I am extremely happy. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my congratulations to Senate President Mr. Chill. Before the camera, Legislative Speaker Yeo congratulates the Czech Senate Speaker for securing re-election with over 90 percent of the vote. The victory proved wrong those who said his Taiwan visit would cost him. But according to a recent investigation, China is still trying to make him pay. Wash Taiwan Zhen. Since his September visit to Taiwan, China has ramped up the pressure on the speaker. Recently, the news outlet Actualnia received a news tip on Vistrichil from a Switzerland-based consulting company. This tip claimed that Taiwan promised to pay Vistrichil four million U.S. dollars to visit. When the media outlet looked into the source of the email, it found people with close ties to China's United Front campaign. The outlet believes the email was part of China's attempt to sway public opinion in the Czech Republic. If our Ministry of Foreign Affairs had four million U.S. dollars in its budget to buy prominent dignitaries, then theoretically we would already be a member of the U.N. and we would be part of the WHO. What this disinformation proves is that China is buying media outlets everywhere. That's an extremely serious issue. The pundit condemned China's disinformation campaign. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs called out China for its aggressive wolf warrior diplomacy. A lawmaker said Taiwan should take charge of the moment and expand its diplomatic office in the Czech Republic. Actually, Taiwan and the Czech Republic have a lot of cooperative projects. I also expect that in the future we will engage in more cooperation. We could consider expanding our representative office in the Czech Republic. Besides diplomatic officials, we could station officials representing other agencies. The Czech Republic is quite strong in its industrial development, so I think the relevant units could consider stationing officials there. Foreign Minister Joseph Wu nodded in affirmation when he was asked about expanding the Czech office. For Taiwan, expanding mutual trust with the Czech Republic could prove a counterweight to Chinese disinformation.